Hiya, you okay? So this is um, example four from the second lesson. So it says, a particle is initially at the origin. So that's kind of given us that R0 thing that we were talking about, like the position vector. And because it's at the origin, I don't really need to worry about it. So I can ignore the R0 bit, but it's fine. It's just kind of building us up ready to go. So it has a velocity of 5 minus 2. So that's your U value. It moves with a constant acceleration of A uh, for 10 seconds to the point where the position vector is 75i. So my R or my S is 75 naught, uh, depending on what you want to use. So if I was being really picky, I'd use the R naught, but I'm not going to bother because it's zero. Right, so if I switch the S into an R, because I'm talking about the, the position vector curve, uh, the, its position where it was originally as well. Could use the S, it doesn't really make a lot of difference in this case, because I'm not going, I know it's not going from somewhere different. Uh, right, so R nu is 5 minus 2. Um, v I've not got about V A is what I want. And T is 10. So I want to choose an equation that doesn't have V in it. So that's going to be S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Or R equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now plus R naught as well, but that was zero, so we can just ignore it, can't we, for now? Um, so 5 minus 2 times by 10 plus a half of A times by 10 squared. So that's what I think what we've got there. Oh, I've got that position, haven't I? I know that that's 75, 0. Um, 75, 0. Yeah. Right, so I've got 75, 0 is 50 minus 20. Now that's going to be plus 50 lots of A. So if I take away the 50 minus 20, that will give me 25, 20 is 50 lots of A. If I divide through by 50, it's going to give me uh, a half, and 20 over 50 is 0.4 A. There you go. So then A is 0.5 I plus 0.4 J, which is what it wants it. But like I said, I could have stuck with S there, because the position, the initial position, is just the origin anyway. But it's nice just to realise that there are all equations in there. Right, part B then. So part B says find the position vector uh, eight seconds after it's left the origin. B. So I want to find out what S is now, or R, if I want to. Uh, I've got my U value, which was 5 minus 2. So I'm finding its position, and I'm B, I didn't know. A, I know is 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and T we say is 8. So without V again, it's S or R is U T plus a half A T squared. Should really be R, shouldn't it? So you can change it to an R if you want. So 5 minus 2 times by 8 plus a half of 0 0.5, 0 0.4. 8 squared. So the top line will be 5 times 8, which is 40. Uh, a half of 8 squared is 32. Half again is 16. So that's going to give me a 56. And then for the bottom line, I've got minus 2 times 8 is minus 16. I've got a half of 0 0.4, or half of the 64 is 32. And 32 times by 0 0.4. So if I add them together, and pretend I'm doing it in my head, but I'm just reading the answers out, it's minus 3.2. So SRR is 56 in the I, and minus 3.2 in the J. I'm getting towards the end of the, the five minutes for this one, so I'll need to do C, on, C and D in a way I just see, isn't it? 